Bawanin como tuta. What is good, my people? Happy Tuesday. Today I have a reaction request from Jed Sev Avang Siras3698. Hopefully I said your at correctly. If I did it, my apologies, but you got a hard at to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be reacting to Body Slam uh, Yapi, and uh, Jed told me that it means uh, poison in English. So I'm assuming we're going to have an, um, an uh, sort of an emotional song or it could be a song, you know, that's teaching you a lesson. We're about to find out together what it means because we're reacting to the lyric video. Um, I will sort of do a mix of like lyric uh, as well as um, sort of official and live performances, just so that way we can have a mix of, you know, of the different uh, different content mixed up a little bit. And two, it just allows me to sort of better understand um, Body Slam's ability to write music. Um, hopefully the translations are going to be like romanticized for me. If not, I'm going to be doing a live romantic romanticization <laughs> of the translated lyrics if they're like sort of one for one but we'll see what that's like uh, as we sort of watch the video but before we do hit the subscribe button that like button that naughty bell we can now drop super thanks when you support the channel i appreciate you and if you have any reaction requests hit me up in those comments or you can dm me via my socials which you can find in the description let's get into this reaction body slam yeah pete dial it His, oh my god uh tune i learned he's the lead singer of body slam the lead vocalist i should say uh he has such a unique voice man i keep saying this this is the third time i've listened to him sing and he has a traditional sounding voice folk sounding voice but at the same time, like there's something like reggae about his voice as well, man. And not again, I'm not sure if it's just instrumental. I don't know what it is, but he there's something like islandy about his voice. And like, Thailand, you know, island, a tropical environment. Maybe that's what it is, you know. <laughs> but we about to find out because he he just he's, he gives me so much, man. <laughs> I have to remember to keep my eyes open to like watch the lyrics. It's like I'm normally closing my eyes just to like listen to the vocals. And I just remember, keep your eyes open, eyes open. <laughs> uh, but like, firstly, I'm going to talk about his voice. I'm going to the lyrics. His, I don't, I've, his voice, like, again, there is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It's so unique. Like, there are parts of the song, which we just heard so far, when he goes into his runs, he has, like, these Arabic-sounding runs. Like, it's that tonality, like, in his in his runs. And, and I don't know where that comes from. It's, like, part of the language. Or if, if it's, like, an artistic choice that he decides to, uh, you know, do with his with his voice, use, use it as an instrument. I have no idea which one it is. But it, it, just, it just hits, man. And then these lyrics, man, he's he's talking to us right now. He's saying, like, be careful about, you know, people that make confessions when they're caught out. When you you know what I mean? During times of turmoil, because they're typically not real confessions of love. They just want to keep you there. Be careful. Yeah. 
Yes. See, what I was getting to, man, be careful with these words, man, the poison. He's saying it right there. He's a gullible person. He he let that poison, man, infect his body. Too much of a good thing can be poison, man. Too much medicine, even though it's meant to, to cure you, can be poisonous. Too many nice compliments. You know what I mean? Too much too much showing that I love you. It's, it's, it can be poisonous. And that's what Tune is singing about, man. That's what Bias Slam is singing about. Yo, I gotta give special thanks to the drummer. Um, again, not sure of uh of his name, but he he killed his part. I mean, the 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 guitarist. They killed their parts as well, but like I don't know the the drummer like the drums on this one and this instrumental it's just it's just hitting different man it's hitting different. people that was by slam yeah pete this song was an experience uh started off giving sort of um rock pop vibes with like caribbean elements uh but then as we sort of got into the song it starts to progress it sort of transitioned to like a, a traditional like rock um i don't want to maybe like post hardcore type of song uh, I'm trying to think about his vocals because his vocals are so unique. I don't even know how to where to sort of place his vocals, but or maybe an indie alternative. I'm not really sure. Somewhere somewhere within that space, but regardless of where you want to categorize this, you know, genre of rock or this song, the band killed it as a unit. Tune the vocalist murdered it. Uh, the instrumentalist, the drummer, the the, the guitarist also murdered it, especially the drummer man like he was doing work on this instrumental uh my people keep putting me in, in the comments down below what should we be listening to from body slam because like, i'm loving what i'm hearing uh the lead uh, vocalist tune like i said has such a unique voice unlike anything i've heard before uh, i'm starting to sort of branch out into other areas of rock from other countries i will drop be dropping a um a bollywood uh 
reaction today, and they are a Indian metal band. Uh, but this song has elements of folk and metal, and reminded me of Lincoln Park with like these folks. Listen, check out the reactions today. I I will have a J Rock reaction, and uh, maybe um, as well as a U.S. or U.K. Canadian uh, band reaction. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. But check them out. They'll all be posted today at the same time. <laughs> See you next video, my people. Peace.